Okay, hello dear friends. This video is about uh, uh, Chinese painting material. So first I need to grind some ink. This is a very good ink, ink uh, stick. Very, very good one. It's so smooth. that color. Okay, so what material do I use to, what paper do I use to do the Chinese painting? One thing you can use is the newspaper. The old newspaper which is not so, this paper is a little bit too colorful, not so good. Use the less colorful one. So the ink is not very dark. And uh, usually I fold the paper to make into a certain size so that it's all the same size. Otherwise, if you want to use, you use the magic paper. I have shown some of the magic paper. So this is the magic paper you use only water to, to paint on it. I didn't have water. So this works on plain water, just the water. And when the water dried up, it becomes all good. It's quite quick to dry up. This, this paper you use, it's good that you will never waste any paper. It's very environmental friendly. But the problem is that uh, sometimes you just uh, cannot uh, see the result. You cannot see how much you improve through time because there is no, nothing left, right? You can do some practice. That is very good. But... Uh, just keep writing here. Keep writing. And uh, just keep writing and it will disappear. Another thing I used very often, all the time, is this paper. It is a kind of a kitchen tower paper, not kitchen tower, it's a hand tower paper. Usually in the restaurant or in the public restroom. And uh, get a big roll of it, $5, $6, and you can use very, very often. So use this one, is one of the method also. And you can see, oh, oh, my ink is not good, so it spreads little, very much, right? So you need to grind the ink more. Mm -hmm. Each paper is different. This paper is particularly a little bit less, uh, more absorbent, less... Uh, with less, see, 
this is one way it uh, it trains you to to write in a quite fast speed let me see if i grind the ink a little bit more Are there any difference Now it's a little bit better still. It's not yet good. The ink is not condensed enough. Need to make it much more condensed. Today's paper is a little bit more absorbent than the other days. There are times it is much less absorbent, much more usable. And uh, another thing is that uh, that folded up, those kind of paper also works well. So, so I use this very often, also in my class. Now it's good, a little bit dried. The ink is not spreading too much with the right speed. You do. You can do in a relatively decent speed, not too fast, not too slow. Right, Do another one, Do two bamboos. So, this is a paper I use very often. I would uh, Highly recommend it. It's not expensive. Everybody can afford it and you can just have fun with it. And, uh, see, because uh, it's, it absorbs the water, it really gives you a certain feel of using real rice paper. Now here I have some real rice paper, the real Chinese painting paper. And this one is already um, textured. So we will take a look at this one. So when the ink, when you have too much water, the ink, you can see. Now my ink is quite, uh, it's just perfect, it's right. So. So it's relatively rough and uh, just feel so comfortable using this. A little bit like, and one of the paper that's close to Chinese painting paper is that uh, paper towel. So feel good to use paper towel. See, when I have ink much less condensed it spreads the same way as spreads with uh, with the the hand tower paper right i'm ashamed of me only doing one thing okay let me try something else let's try to just draw some pretty lines We do not want to do anything particular. We are only doing some lines. Let's see what we can do with this. Lines. Just some basic stroke practice. 
So see the paper really spreads a lot. Just enjoy yourself doing something that uh, does not need to have a meaning, does not need to be perfect. See what your hand can, can lead you, lead you to. Right? Have fun doing it. It's more important than producing something perfect. That looks like some fun and interesting design, right? And uh, spread your brush, turn and uh, Turn and twist. Use your strands. I don't know where it will lead me to. And I do not care about the result. I am enjoying a few minutes of this uh, of this mindless mindless uh, creative time if you like to say if you would like to say it's mindless creative time or just uh, a good time just some pretty design This French breed. Ah, oui. Yeah, une uh, un ami, une personne qui m'a dit qu'elle comprend pas que quand je parle anglais, elle comprend pas tout. Donc uh, Je dis, je vais essayer faire euh, en français. Maintenant, je vais commencer. Je vais continuer cet exercice en français. Donc, euh, tu as pu et après, tu tournes. Après, tu tournes. Un grand virage comme mon mari toujours me dit quand on fait le ski ouais. tu fais un grand virage tu as bu et après un grand virage tu as bu et après un virage tu as bu après un virage you just have allow yourself to to have some fun with uh, with no reason, with no particular goal. Tu t'amuses, tu penses rien, tu penses pas si c'est joli ou not. Si c'est joli ou non, parce que c'est pas important. Tu fais quelque chose que tu penses même pas. C'est juste comme ça. <rire> juste faire quelque chose sans pension, sans faire attention. Tu fais attention seulement euh, 
seulement faire attention au mouvement très 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 délicat très 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 doucement très 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 je ne sais pas très 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 joyeusement très 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 libre très 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 et après 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 c'est après tu penses pas trop tu fais le mouvement délicat parce que c'est pas important de faire quelque chose joli. Joli, c'est pas important dans l'art. Les choses plus importantes, ce que tu peux parler avec tes mains et tes mains sont utiles pour ex exprimer ou express comme on dit en français ok i have other kinds of uh, chinese painting paper c'est avec le doré un brillant un petit truc ici c'est aussi assez joli. Donc, quand tu fais les incres très 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 profond, très 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 euh, très profond, t'as vu? C'est parfait. Quand Tu fais le mouvement très vite. Il y a des traits que tu vois pas. White, blanche. En chinois, it's fei bai. En anglais, c'est fly white. En français, c'est blanche. Comment on dit? Des fois, tu n'as pas besoin d'être là, mais il occupe d'espace partout. Par exemple, celui-ci n'a pas de feuilles là, mais c'est complet. You do not need to be there. It is there. The sentiment. Le sentiment. L'esprit est déjà là. Ok. Il faut que je... que je parle. Mm -hmm. Quand je fais plus de cordes, oh, pas mal. Ok. Ok, c'est tout. Ok, finalement, celui-là n'est pas mal, n'est-ce pas pas mal, tout est pas mal. 
So this video is mostly explain do not be stressed if you do not have the right paper. It's not important. The paper is not important. It's important that you can practice. Use recycled newspaper, photocopy paper. We all have so many photocopy paper. You go to any office in the, the recycled tray or in the waste paper tray. There are so many papers. We can, we can always find something to, to use as a tool to write. Et c'est pas important quel papier tu, tu utilises pour faire les exercices. C'est important que tu le fasses. C'est important que tu fasses quelque chose. D'accord? Okay. Au revoir. Bonsoir. Ok. Au revoir. Bye bye, friends. Enjoy.